Okay, hello everybody. Now let's watch the stats of the previous campaign. Okay, let me take you to Propeller Ads. Let's go to the stats of this this month so we can see how much we spend on the campaign. This is the campaign we spent sixty dollars point twenty three. Let's go to CPV Lab. Let's see the stats of the campaign quickly. Uh, we have got seventeen thousand visitor and four conversions and that's the cost. But we will adjust the bid. So that, that cost of the campaign will match the cost that we spend in Propeller Ads. So let's play with the bid a little bit. Let's play with the bid. So the, the amount we have spent will appear exactly in CPV Lab. Now let's see how much the cost is changes. 16.7. Let's reduce. Let's reduce and see we want it to be 16.23. Exactly, I'm just showing you how to adjust. You see, it's 16.36. The ROI is minus 36. So it's closer, so we don't have to change anything. Now let's go deeper a little bit. Now let's click conversions, so we'll see the zones that we have got conversions from. You see the ROI of each zone? Pretty good. Four conversions so far. Uh, Let's go. Let's browse based on the cost. So whenever there is some, uh, some zone, now we have spent more money and have got no conversion, we will edit and we'll copy that zone ID and we'll put it here. Let me show you where. here. Exclude. You just click exclude and paste. Go, look for other sub ID. You have spent money and no conversions. Copy. Go to Propeller Ads. Paste it here. Make sure you enable exclude. Uh, I will not do this because we didn't spend too much on this zone ID. So I will leave the campaign like this and I will send more traffic. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now let's browse more. Okay. We can optimize the campaign based on zone ID and based on carrier and based on a lot of things. So. Let's go. What else? Okay, let's optimize based on the carrier, okay? You see the carriers that we have got conversions from? ESP, or means Internet Service Providers. In the, you see, I will not do anything for the carriers at the moment because it's still early. Even though you see the ROI is negative there in the first one but I leave it like that I will send more traffic than optimize based on the carrier because it's not it's too early to optimize the carrier it's too early okay but you always start with landing page and zone IDs okay the landing page I've run two landing pages I paused one, the LP one, it's not doing good for me. I paused it in the beginning. Uh, I lay, I left LP3 only, okay? I left LP3 only. Let me show you how to disable the landing page. You just go here, you see, you just click, check that box, inactive, and click equal, and that's it. And hit save, it will be enabled, it will be disabled. Let me take you to click dealer so you can see exactly the stats in front of your eyes. Because some people will think I am faking or something like that. So it's all live. Let's go to click dealer. Let's go to reports. Go to conversion report. Uh, this is the campaign, exactly the one that I showed you. And uh, the sub IDs that have got conversions today. This is today. Let, let's see yesterday. Two conversions. Two, two conversions yesterday and two today. So it's four conversions. And of course, another one that I didn't capture. Uh, let me see. Month to date. There are five conversions, but one I didn't capture it. Uh, for some many reasons, because I have run, I have tested the campaign with another traffic, uh, another tracking tool before. But it doesn't matter, okay? It's only one conversion. No big deal. Uh, so that's it. I showed you how to optimize the campaign. Let's go exactly to, let's hit save. Now we just have to leave the campaign 
an armor budget and keep your eyes on it blacklisting the sub ids or the zone ids that are not doing good and that's how to run a cpa campaign perfect okay uh, so if you have any questions let me know